Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, and Daytona, Florida. So we just finished up a 2024 Road Glide. So this bike we did for, our, it's actually one of our first Harley clients when I started doing Harleys about a decade ago. It's, uh, this bike was for Kaz. We did Kaz's 13 CVO when I first started in the motorcycle audio. And he just picked up a brand new 2024 and he entrusted us with it. And I'm really happy with the way the build came out. Um, first, I'm happy to have a repeat client that I've been able to keep for a decade. That that in itself is an accomplishment. And Kaz is more of a friend than a customer. Stops by the shop all the time to hang out and see what we're doing and see what's new. Um, always asking questions and giving advice. Super cool guy. He's been in the motorcycle game forever. Um, I respect his insight and he's an overall great person, owns a local business, um, and we're his audio shop of choice and we appreciate that. Um, brand new, he, so of course, before he picked the bike up from the dealer, he had a bunch of performance upgrades done. He's got a crate motor in his 13 CVO. So of course he wasn't gonna take a stock bike from uh, the dealership. So he had a bunch of work done to it before he even picked it up. Then he also, he does, so he has stipulations when we build audio for him. He doesn't want anything in the saddlebags. He travels a lot. Like he's constantly taking trips out of town. He'll do all the big rallies. He'll ride to California. Everything we do for him has to be weatherproof. And whatever the equipment's gonna do, whatever you promise him, he's, he's gonna do it. So it better do what you promise it's gonna do. He's willing to sacrifice output for better quality, longevity, weatherproofness and so for this build he um, opted to go with the uh, hog lowers 3d printed 8 inch lowers for the bike with the built-in fog light um, he needs lighting he needs lighting when he's out on some of these dark roads and some of these other states um, since he didn't want to do anything in the bags we went with 8 inch lowers so we did Cicada CMX in the fairing. We did Cicada CMX eight inch in the lowers, NVS Audio high res tweeters in the top. He upgraded the grills to the CVO grills. So we were able to tuck the tweeters behind the grills and you don't see them. Opted for uh, Hertz 690 Neo six mines in the lids. We did the new H's for you guys that don't know. Hertz now offers a six by nine specifically made for these 2024 and up where you don't have, we used to have to modify the six by nine to get it to drop in. And now it literally drops in no cutting as long as you have the factory audio lids. This bike didn't come with audio lids. He didn't want to do a cutting kit. So he ordered the color match lids from Harley. So we did the Hertz six mines and lids uh, for power. We did the Cicada 1400P. DSP amplifier. The amplifier is an uh, internal DSP, so that saved us a ton of room in the fairing. We did the NVS Audio plug and play harnesses for the 24 and up, so there's no cutting or splicing. And uh, we also did a custom plug and play harness for the fog light, so there's no cutting or splicing there. Um, bike came out great. Bike has a ton of mid bass. I'm really impressed with, the, impressed with the mid bass on the bike. It sounds really, really good. Looks really, really good. And per his request, zero saddlebag space taken up. So he can load his bags up on the trip. Everything's weatherproof. So you don't have to worry about the six mines getting wet. Don't have to worry about the carbon fiber lowers getting wet. Don't have to worry about the carbon fiber fairing speakers getting wet. Uh, performs well, ton of power. Everything ran off the factory radio. No cutting or splicing. He's happy with the way it sounds. We're happy with the way it sounds. Check out the build.
Your body.